Protein 3D is DNA STAR's application for exploring macromolecular structure, motion, and function. In Protein 3D, the analysis view displays results of any prediction methods that you choose to apply. One such prediction method, the B cell epitopes neoclone method, makes it easy to predict linear B cell epitopes for any protein sequence or structure. In this example, I've already opened a PDB file for a mutant form of the BRCA1 BRCT gene. Our eventual goal will be to view the solvent accessible surface of the likely B cell epitope in relation to the rest of the protein. So we'll start by applying a light blue solvent accessible surface over the entire protein. To do this, I'll open the surfaces panel and select solvent accessible surface high quality. And now I'll open the color bar and change that color to light blue. In preparation for applying the NeoClone method, we next need to open the analysis view by clicking on the analysis tab. To apply the NeoClone method, we'll go to the methods panel on the right. This panel shows a list of protein 3D analysis methods. We'll check the box next to B cell epitopes neoclone. As the method is activated, the results from the antigenic and highly antigenic models are instantaneously displayed at the bottom of the analysis view. Antigenic predictions are light pink and highly antigenic predictions are dark pink. We can click the plus sign to the left of the synopsis to display individual graphs. A confidence score is assigned to each residue to indicate the probability of it being or not being part of an epitope. By default, residues with a confidence greater than or equal to 0.5 are predicted to be antigenic. That threshold can be changed from the parameters bar if desired. Here we'll leave it at the default setting of 0.5. Since an epitope is likely to be near the surface of a protein, we can get additional confirmation by applying the m and &E surface probability method. As you can see, there's a large continuous section of sequence that is predicted to be near the surface and to have a high probability of being an epitope. I'm going to highlight this entire region and then change its solvent accessible surface color from light blue to pink. To apply that, so I'll go back to the Explorer panel and now I'm going to fill that in in bright pink. Now we can go back to the structure view and see a visualization of our putative B cell epitope in pink. In the sequence view, note that our putative epitope selection has been underlined in pink to match the color we chose for its solvent accessible surface. For more information on the NeoClone method, please go to the Protean 3D page of our website and click on the white paper entitled Precise Predictions of Linear B Cell Epitopes in Protean 3D. To learn more about the B-cell epitope neoclone prediction method in Protean 3D, or for information about any of our other software products, please visit our website at www.dnastar.com or contact us at support at dnastar.com.